In today's video, we're gonna talk about 10 things you should never do in Spain. What is going on YouTube? Greetings from Valencia, Spain. I've got about 10 more days left here and I've had a great time. Spain is an awesome country, but like every other country, there's a few things that you don't wanna do when you're in that country. And that's what today's video is gonna be about. So let's jump right into this. Number one, never eat paella for dinner. Like I mentioned, I'm in Valencia, Spain. And if you didn't know this, Valencia is the birthplace of paella. There are a bunch of different rules when it comes to eating paella, but the most important rule is you do not eat paella for dinner. The Spanish eat dinner pretty late, usually after 8.30 p.m., and paella is considered too heavy to eat that late in the evening. If you find a place that serves paella for dinner, it's probably geared towards tourists, and a Spaniard will tell you it's not gonna be good paella. So find your paella at lunchtime and skip the dinner paella. Okay, another food-related item. Never try to go to lunch before 1 p.m. or dinner before 8 p.m. Like I mentioned before, the Spanish eat late. Lunch starts around 1 p.m. and goes to about 4 p.m. and you will never find a dinner place open before 8 p.m. and even at that time, it's gonna be completely empty. So just be aware of that when you're planning your meals in Spain. Okay, along those same lines, number three, never eat a light lunch. Like I mentioned before, the Spanish eat late. They don't wanna to go to bed with a full stomach. So for dinner, they usually have lighter tapas and salads. So consequently, lunch is gonna be the heaviest meal of the day in Spain, and that's where you're gonna find things like paella, pasta, and other heavier foods that, as Americans, we normally associate with dinner. So when you go to lunch in Spain, eat up. All right, another food item. If you haven't noticed, a lot of life in Spain revolves around food. Number four, never expect an American style breakfast in Spain. Spaniards don't really eat what we would consider breakfast food. If they have anything in the morning, it's gonna be toast with some olive oil on it and maybe some Spanish ham, but you're never gonna be able to find like bacon and eggs, biscuits and gravy, pancakes, things like that. So just make sure you're prepared for that and save room in your belly for the big heavy meal you're gonna have at lunch. All right, another food item. Never expect fast service in Spain or a meal under two hours. Eating in Spain is an event. First, you have a drink and you chat. Then you have some bread and jamón, the Spanish ham, and you chat. Then you get your main course and you chat. After the main course, you drink some coffee, a beer, or an after meal wine, and you continue to chat. Nobody's gonna bring you the check at a Spanish restaurant unless you ask for it. You could sit around for 10 hours and you're still not gonna get that check. We may think of it as kind of a slower way of life, but it's really embracing the moment. So don't fight it, embrace it. Okay, our first non-food related thing to never do in Spain. Never forget to watch where you step. The Spanish love their pets, they love their dogs, but oftentimes they forget to clean up after them when they take them for a walk. So please, please, please make sure you watch where you step when you're walking down a sidewalk or in a park. All right, another food related item. Never think you have to tip in Spain. This one is usually pretty hard for someone from the US because we're so used to tipping between 15 and 25%. In Spain, that's not really expected. Of course it's appreciated, but the percentages are much lower. If you get really great service here in Spain, Five to 10% is perfectly fine, but tipping just isn't a real common thing here in Spain. All right, this next tip I always have to learn the hard way. Never try to buy anything on Sunday. You won't be able to do it. Everything is closed, nothing is ever open. Maybe a couple of restaurants will open for a short period of time in the middle of the day. And then of course, dinner restaurants will be open, but anything else, nothing's gonna be open. Another little side note related to that, even when something says it's open, like on Google Maps, that doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna be open. About 50% of the time I go to a place that Google Maps says is open, it's not open. Even when it's the customary times for things to be open in Spain, people just open and close their businesses whenever they want. That's just the culture here. You can try to fight it, but it's better just to embrace it. And I usually just have a backup plan ready. Rule number nine, never jump on a bus here in Spain and try to pay for anything over a 10 euro note. 
If you try to pay with a 20 euro note or above, you're gonna get thrown off the bus. So go get some smaller bills and coins. This applies to a lot of different places here in Spain. Spain is pretty wired when it comes to credit cards. You can do tap almost anywhere. And so cash isn't used that often. Vendors don't really like to receive those 50 euro notes. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, next up. Never eat the oranges on the trees in Spain. When you walk around towns and cities in Spain, you're gonna see these orange trees that have all these beautiful little oranges on them. And you're gonna think to yourself, why are there so many oranges around? I'm just gonna pick one of these and take them home with me. Nobody's gonna care when you do it because no one in Spain would ever eat those oranges. Those oranges were brought to Europe by the Moors and they were basically used to mask the smell of sewage before we had underground sewage. While these oranges are very fragrant and they're actually used to make like cleaning supplies, they don't taste very good. They're very, very sour and bitter and you definitely don't wanna eat them. Okay, so here's a little bonus item that's specific to Valencia. Never eat paella with a fork. Valencia invented paella so they get to make the rules. And rule number one is never eat paella with a fork. You always eat paella with a spoon. Okay, so those are the things that you should never do in Spain. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you're interested in this kind of travel content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have anything to add, make sure you comment below. Thanks for watching.